Hey guys, Jason, CV Customs. So a while back we got that O3 in and we checked the engine, drained the oil, did all that fun stuff, and what we found wasn't good. The guy decided to rebuild it, so we pulled the engine. I've honestly, I've, I've built the engine already, but we haven't put the injectors in yet. So I wanted to show you guys how to put these in because on the 5.9 high outputs, the, the common rail engine, the injectors are real finicky. You, they just, they have to be in properly. So I'm gonna show you guys how I put the injectors in. We're gonna do it on the stand. You can change or replace the injectors in the, in the vehicle, but it's a lot easier for me to show you how to put these injectors in properly right here on the stand. So I'm gonna show you the new injectors, show you where I got them from. I, I can tell you right now that where I get my injectors is a place called Injector Direct. They're an online thing. They're actually fairly local, only a couple hours from me, but I've never had an issue with their injectors. They have great pricing. It all works pretty well. So we're gonna get on that and I'll show you how it looks in a second. Okay, so here's what the injectors come with from Injectors Direct. They come with instructions on how to send back the cores. And I always get the new tubes when I do these injectors because they have to seal on this surface and this surface in here. It kind of sits like this when it's in the head. And the torque and everything, it's a, it's a steel to steel seal. So it's very important that all the surfaces be brand new. Some people would reuse them. And if you guys want to try it and save $200, don't say I told you to. So I always replace them. So this is kind of what I got here. All of these bags, they're all important for the core return. I'm going to grab one of the old injectors and we'll prep. We'll get everything off of this and prep one of the old injectors for the return. Because for you to get your full uh, deposit back or core, core deposit, they have to be returned the right way. So let me grab an old injector and we'll prep it and we'll put it in the box it came in and we'll be ready to get over to UPS or FedEx or something like that. Okay, so I grabbed one of the old injectors. Now I know this thing looks really clean and everything. That's because we sent them in to have them tested before we decided to get new injectors. Apparently this one checked out, but I don't like to replace individual injectors. I do the whole thing one shot and then you know you're, they're all at the same lifespan. So this injector obviously has miles on it because two of the injectors failed. So we're gonna go ahead and even though it checks out, we're gonna go ahead and return these because we want our core back. So the big thing is they want the caps on both ends. Then their bubble wrap, put it back in. So it looks just like the other ones. What's really important because my old injectors are now super clean and look just as nice as my new injectors, you really wanna make sure each time we do it, and throw it in the box so it's ready for return. So I'm gonna get all the rest prepped. Don't wanna lose our little washer here. I'll get the rest prepped in the box. We'll have our new injectors, our tubes, and we'll start putting them in the engine. Okay, these are our new injectors. Still have our tubes. This is the instruction sheet they send you with. These are, this will cover the common rails for the Cummins. It's uh, the five nines and the six sevens. This is their, how did we do? You know, tell us how we did. Fill that out, throw it in there. Now this is the core return sheet. You're gonna tear off the bottom. You're gonna put your order number, your phone number, name and signature, throw it in there. And then you keep this for, it's like your receipt. And then uh, it also tells you where to have it uh, returned to. So you got your address. So you take this with you over to uh, FedEx or UPS, wherever you go. Put that address on, send it back, that's done. And it, do, it is gonna want your original order number, so make sure you have that available. They send you a receipt with the order number, so you should have it. And that's how you get the cores back. Now we'll put the injectors in the engine. Okay, so here's the top end of our 5924 common rail, well, 24 valve common rail. What I wanna show you before we actually throw the injectors in is this is the feed tube port. Well, hard to get your finger when you're trying to watch it on the camera. <laughs> but that goes in, that feeds our injector. It's just gonna go right here. 
Now to do this job, you will have to take the rocker arms off and the bridges. Um, yeah, the importance of the, the reason I'm doing this video is specifically on the install of the injectors is because that tube and that injector have to mesh perfectly to have that steel on steel seal. So we'll get the injectors greased up. Um, you can put oil or grease on the, on the O-rings. You want to make sure they slide in without scoring anything up. And, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you that with the injector, but uh, let's get the first one ready. Okay guys, so the first step of the install is we're gonna drop the injector in. <clears throat> now I did like I do for all my injectors. I add grease to keep the washer from falling in so I don't have to fish it out. And I add grease to the O-ring. You can use 1540 motor oil, it's not that big of a deal. I've just found that grease holds the, uh, the washer better, keeping it from falling down. Either one works. Now, when you put it in, number one, you're not going to put a lot of pressure and you're not going to put any pressure on these little nuts. Those things will just break right off. Don't, don't do that. The inlet for your tube obviously has to face that way. These have a rounded and a flat edge. The flat edge goes towards the passenger side. Another way to look at it, but that's what we're going to do is just put this thing in and it pops. We're good to go. Next thing, we take our two bolts, we take a eight millimeter socket. We're gonna screw these in evenly. So just take them down nice and even. Because that thing rocks, you can end up with one down further than the other and that's not gonna be very convenient. Now the real key part of this is that they call for 44 inch pounds. Now we're gonna torque this down before we put the tube in. It's key to understand that it says inch pounds. If you try to put 44 foot pounds, you're going to break your bolts. Don't do that. So I've already got the torque wrench set. So what I'm going to do is a quarter turn on each one until we start to get to our torque spec. Because if I just turn one down, I'm going to end up not going down evenly like we talked about. Okay, they checked out. Next. Next, we're gonna, I had to get my ratchet, sorry. So next, again, it's just another eight millimeter socket. We're gonna take and loosen these one full turn a piece. It's not rocket science, so I'm not worried about getting it 100% right. One full turn is what you're after. Then we can throw our tube in. Now the tube, I did the same thing. I put grease around the O-ring so it slides right in. Now there is, I don't know, a keyway or a dial pin, whatever you want to call it, but you want to make sure you get in the right way. You'll, you'll feel it as you go in. See, it's straight up and down. And then we'll hear it pop just like in everything else. Little pop. Now it's good. We'll put our retaining bolt on. Okay, now, fortunately I didn't grab the uh, torque wrench for this one, so I'm gonna go grab that, we'll get right back. Okay, now I got another torque wrench. The reason I got a separate torque wrench is this nut calls for 11 foot-pounds. That's why it's Back and forth. You got inch pounds, foot pounds. Make sure you're right on it. We're going to go to 11 foot pounds now with this torqued down and loosened one turn for each bolt. Eleven foot pounds is not much. So now we're going to Adjust our inch pound torque wrench to 71, I think. Yeah, so now 71 inch pounds. And again, doing it evenly, we're going to get this down to 71. All 
Oh, that clicked. Clicked. Always like to double check. Now we're going to jump back on the other nut. And now this thing's going to 37. We're going to crank this dude back down. It's 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Thirty-seven. Okay. Double checked. That's in. Now the next step would be the rocker arms. Um, I can go ahead and show you that, but I think I'm going to get the rest of the injectors in first. That's how you properly get these on, and I'll get you the uh, torque specs on this too when I get back here. Okay, guys, so the kind of the point of this video was these injectors, and I misspoke. I said 71, I read the card wrong, it was 89. They're the last bolts on this. Now, I, I had it at 89, I just I misspoke when I read the card to tell you guys what I said it at, but that's how you put these in. Now, that final torque on these uh, studs on top for your electrical wires is another 11 inch pounds. Make sure you get it 11 inch pounds. So thanks for watching and I hope it helps you do your, your injectors. Really important, don't mess it up.